What you guys got another video here for you. This one's on how to remove syrff.y. Now there's many different variants of syrff, um, which is also known as zero access. It's a more common name, um, but it is basically loads of versions like .y, .c, .a, .b, uh, .w, .r, .p. There's loads of different versions of it, and uh, basically what it does is you get it on the system, and you'll be getting redirects and all sorts of other stuff happening to your system. So let's have a look and see if we can get it to redirect at the moment. So I'm going to do malware bytes here. Have a look now. What you will notice is your browser will go very slow. Searching the internet will be very slow. And you can see that the, basically the hard drives were in a way now I can hear it. Okay, so once we get on here, we click on the the link and you start getting redirected like so as you can see and that's exactly what um, zero access does you can never get to the page that you're going to it just keeps redirecting as you can see okay so that's what we're going to get rid of it's pretty nasty and uh, but I've stumbled across a good tool it's from foolish IT uh, Nick Shaw is a is a very clever man and he's made the program called D7 and he's also made this little program you can use to remove it it's called Killer ZA, um, and we're going to show you where to get it from. So first off, let me download it. I've got the link here, pasted my link here. I'm going to quickly enter that. Okay, there's the file there. So I'm going to save this file. Now we'll put the link in the uh, description of the video, and also I want to show you his site. Once I've removed everything, I'll show you his site because at the moment I'm getting redirects. So we've got this program here now. I'm just going to quickly put this onto the desktop. It is a free program. And uh, if you're an IT technician, then using uh, D7 is a must for removing malware and stuff like that. It's a really good tool for that. And uh, here we have the uh, Kill ZA. And uh, what we're going to do is before I run this, I want to show you where the actual zero access lives. So we're going to go to the start button here and go to computer and then C drive. Go to Organize, Folder and Search Options. On the View tab, we're going to show hidden files, folders and drives. Take the tick out of hide extensions and also we're going to be taking the tick out of hide protected operating system files. Just need to take this out temporarily just so we can see the hidden folders that where it hides. And it goes inside the Windows directory here and inside the installer and you can see it's sort of transparent here and this is because it's a hidden folder go in here and you will see a folder like this once you see that this is where the uh, zero access is you can't just right click and delete this it won't let you do that so the next place you need to look is inside users and then the account and then app data and then local and you will see that same folder in there and there's some files in here as well there's also the services.exe file that gets uh, tampered with with this uh, zero access and this is where this tool comes in very useful so what I'm going to do here is we're going to right click on this and run this as administrator and straight away you'll see it detects the services.exe has been replaced and the old copy been deleted and that's because uh, it's been tampered with with that zero access click OK here and then I'm going to right click on this again and run this as administrator again and say yes and again it's detected zero access user uh, mode variant found and uh, it's going to click as soon as I click OK here it's going to reboot and remove it from the system just be patient it does take a bit of time to shut down So we'll just let this boot back up and then we'll be prompted with that box again with another reboot to remove the rest of it. And there you go, it wants us to reboot uh, again once more. Click OK. So again, just let this boot back up, 
and that should be that zero axis removed from the system it's an awesome tool it's very useful and it's it works on many different variants of that zero access and uh, if you're a technician and you're working with uh, these types of files then you can't go far wrong from using something like this now if I show you quickly here you will see it's been removed I'll go to the windows and then installer and you'll see the folders now gone and it's been removed from there it's all gone from the system now before I, I'm going to run a scan here with Hitman Pro and while that scans running I'll show you Foolish IT's site if you want to have a look at the site I'll just leave this running so we should be able to get on the internet now go Foolish IT and then it's uh, dot com going to go straight in there and this is the actual guys site here you've got D7 here as well which is a very powerful tool but just be careful it's quite a powerful tool and if you don't know what you're doing you can do some damage to the operating system but yep if you're an IT tech then this is the place to start off with a useful tool like D7 and he's got loads of other good useful information on here as well okay so that's his site we'll put that link in the description and uh, we'll just let this finish off and as you can see it's not found anything else it's pretty clean apart from some uh, cookies here and that's the end of that um, zero access off the system now we will run malware bytes as well just to make sure we'll just quickly run this one do a quick update and then what I'm going to do is while that's scanning I'm just going to quickly hide this folder back go to organize folder and search options view and I'm going to put the tick back inside the high protected operating system files and I'll let this uh, scan up okay that's the scan now finished let's just check the results zero access and it's this just last one on the uh, desktop here that's found and we'll just quickly remove that from the system close that off and uh, I would restart here but I'm not going to bother in this case I'll do that in a second but I think that's about it so a big thank you to Nick Shaw for making such an awesome little application to do a job that takes literally two reboots and it's all gone so thanks to him and uh, I'll be making more useful videos again in the future so thanks again for watching guys thanks for your support bye for now